Now the problem is if a, b, c are in geometric progression, then the equations a x square plus 2 b x plus c equal to 0 and d x square plus 2 e x plus f equal to 0 have a common root if d by a, e by b and f by c are in which one among these options is going to be the correct? See the solution of this problem. He gave that A, B, C are in geometric progression and this have a common root. Fine. Let alpha be the common root. If you take alpha as the common root, then obviously let us find out the alpha will be the root for the first equation as well as the second equation. That alpha is a root of first equation employs let us find the root of ax square plus 2bx plus c equal to 0 become as say alpha is equals to say it may be any root so alpha is equals to minus b plus or minus root of b square that is 4b square because 2b whole square b square minus 4ac instead of a we have a here and c that is 4ac by 2a that is equals to 2a. This is the value of alpha. But here, given that a comma b comma c they are in geometric progression. So when a comma b comma c are given in geometric progression, then what happens is obviously b square is equals to ac. B square is equal to ac, and here 4 b square minus 4 ac. If 4 is taken common, b square is equal to ac. That is nullifies. So therefore, here obviously alpha value becomes as 4b square is equal to 4ac because b square is equal to ac means 4b square is equal to 4ac. So this becomes 0. So minus 2b by 2a that is nothing but minus b by a is the value of the common root. So this is a common root for both of the equations. When this is a common root, this must satisfy for this equation. Common root of ax square plus 2bx plus c equal to 0 and dx square plus 2ex plus f equal to 0. Obviously, this must satisfy this equation. So, let us substitute that is d into minus b by a whole square plus 2 into e into minus b by a plus f is equal to 0. Hence, it becomes d in b square by a square minus 2e into b by a plus f equal to 0. So, on taking LCM, this becomes dB square plus A square F is equals to 2ABE. Now, here divide throughout by A square into C. When I divide throughout by A square into C, it becomes dB square by A square C plus A square F by A square C is equals to 2ABE by A square C. Employees, this can be rearranged as it d into instead of b square can i have the value of ac because since b square is equal to ac is the hinge so i can take here ac by a square c plus here obviously a square and a square gets cancelled obviously i'll get f by c is equals to and here a gets away and we have left with b e by ac this one a left away then ac we can write it as b square so that is 2 b e by b square. So again a gets away here and c gets away. Finally what I am leaving with is d by a plus f by c is equals to here b gets away 2 into e by b. So from this what we conclude is therefore we can have this one as d by a is one term, e by b is another term, f by c is another term. These are in which one? Arithmetic progression. So which option is going to be the correct for this question? That is option A is going to be the correct option here. Because D by A, E by B, F by C are such that D by A plus F by C is equal to twice E by B. Hence, they are in arithmetic progression. So option A is going to be the correct answer for this question.